That's right, it's that time of year for IFA to happen in Berlin, and our own Michael Fisher and Anton D. Notch will be covering everything live at the event, but obviously there are a couple of predictions to go through. So, I'm Jaime Rivera, this is Pocket Now, and these are our top five predictions for what to expect at IFA 2013. Number five is the LG G-Pad, and yeah, this is probably one of the biggest tech ironies in history because LG builds the displays for the best tablet in the market, which is the iPad, and pretty much almost every Apple product out there, and still they did not have a tablet of their own. Obviously, we'd wish they'd have a better name than G-Pad, but they're trying to dub everything as G recently, and as it turns out, we are expecting some decent specifications, something good out of this tablet, links in the description for details, though we don't know how it's gonna go with that price range when you have something like the Nexus 7 to 229 and just about everything being cool. Number four is the first ever HTC Falcon. This is the company that dared the odds years ago bringing us the first big phones, even though Samsung took that crown with the Galaxy Note lineup. We are expecting a bigger HTC One, probably being dubbed the HTC One Max Snapdragon 800 processor. A lot of good specs, links in the description for details on this device. There are a lot of rumors out there, fingerprint scanning at the back, and pretty much just again, a bigger HTC One. Let's just hope they figure out how to bring more ultra pixels to this camera because the four ultra pixels that we had on on the one were probably the only thing we didn't like about that phone. Let's see what we get. Number three is actually not so good. I mean, notice that the first two are Android based and actually the next two are Android based as well. We're expecting very little Microsoft presence. The reason why is we haven't really seen many leaks of anything that has to do with Windows. A lot of people haven't really liked Windows 8. Windows RT has been a complete disaster and we are expecting for Windows 8.1 to be launched in the next couple of weeks and that would bring new products. We aren't expecting anything at IFA, but mostly boots of products that already exist. So if you're out out there waiting for more Windows phones or more Windows tablets, uh, I don't think this is going to be the event for you. Number two are some good Sony products. Notice I said products, not just the Sony Honami that we've seen in leaks. We've had press renders of this phone. We're expecting a 20.7 megapixel camera, very thin design, Snapdragon 800 processor, a lot of good things coming from this phone, but we also saw some recent leaks of a mini phone that probably will be released at the same time. We're probably expecting a new Xperia lineup that'll come at IFA like it did last year, even though last year's Sony phones that were launched at IFA didn't get much of a good reception or much of a good push from the company. So apparently this Sony Honami will be called the Xperia Z1. Let's see what the mini will be called and let's see if there will be another mid-tier in the middle and let's hope that these three phones or two phones or whatever we get will probably retain the same specifications and just different price points and different sizes for whatever you want. And finally, our top number one prediction for what will happen at IFA 2013 is that Samsung will steal the show with the Galaxy Gear and Galaxy Note 3. Now, in the case of the Galaxy Gear, this is kind of tough because even the company believes this will be just a concept product and it's just a smartphone companion. Probably no different than what we'll see right now with Sony Smartwatch or what you'll have with the Pebble. So it's kind of hard to see this to be groundbreaking and most likely they're waiting to see what Apple does with the iWatch. Now, in the case of the Galaxy Note 3, you know, they own the phablet category. Those of you who didn't believe in it saw that the Galaxy Note 1 and Galaxy Note 2 pretty much took the world by storm. And most probably this Galaxy Note 3 will be a slimmer but bigger Galaxy Note with probably more functionality, a better S Pen now, the company owns Wacom and everything. So we are expecting a lot from this product, but then again, you'll notice that none of these things that we mentioned in the past other cases are one more thing, you know, nothing out of the ordinary aside from the leaks that we've seen so far. So that leads me to the question of the day. Do you believe that we will be surprised at IFA 2013? Is there something more that we're probably missing in these predictions? Honestly, in my case, it's a tough one because leaks pretty much take the cake here. We don't know what else to expect. Probably Samsung has just taken the steps with the, you know, the leaks of the Galaxy Gear, the Galaxy Note. We haven't seen really much other products being teased around, but leave us a comment down below. What do you expect? That's it for today's top five. Thank you very much for watching. There will be a ton of coverage for this event. First of all, we will have a live hangout for Samsung's event, which happens at noon on Wednesday, September 4th. And aside from that, our own Michael Fisher and Anton D. Naj will be live at the event covering everything from Sony to LG to absolutely everything that we talked about in this prediction. So make sure you follow us on social media. Give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. Subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next couple of days.